Hello! So, this is going to be an unboxing video. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done unboxing, but this particular kit has, a, you know, something extra inside. And I just want to share it with you. <laughs> and, um, again, this is the Tenshio Shibai Sazubi. I think it's like the second form, um, you know, since the original, you know, Shibai Sazubi of the Son Goku Den line. And this is number right there, 362, or number 37 in the Son Goku Den series. Side of the box, really awesome kit. Once painted, yep, that's the keyword. Once painted, and he has that interesting uh, transformation, uh, for which I believe is the Nightingale. On the side. More cool, uh, you know, CG drawing. <laughs> and this retails for 600 yen. Yep. But I got it a little bit more expensive. I got it from my, uh, my local hobby store. And um, I think I got about 10 bucks, which is not that bad, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, inside. Which I already uh, took out the wrappers. First runner, you get this um, somewhat grayish metallic. I guess you can call that gunmetal. And you do have this uh, frosty gold. Again, not that good looking. Might have to. I'll probably paint that. I usually paint my frosty golds. Usually. <laughs> And there's a red part here for the torso, which is kind of interesting why they put that there. And you have this long part here. Yep. Um, there are certain parts of the sword that's hollow. I still understand why I have a hollow parts there. I mean, you can. I mean, this part, there's no hollow parts here. Hmm. I guess they just want to say plastic, maybe? Or. Maybe that kind of helps, you know, prevent air, air pockets. Anyways, moving along. Um, you have this, this second runner. Uh, this is slightly different. It's not gunmetal, it's like more silver. And we have the rest of the... Um, you have the head here. You have the arms and the feet. Next one, you do have the fan here, and the helmet, and this is somewhat like a, I guess they call this burgundy maybe, like or uh, red wine, that kind of color, and that's pretty much it for this runner, and stickers, let's see what they have for the stickers. Really shiny. You have the gold parts there. Um, I'm probably just gonna use the eye stickers. I'll probably try to, you know, draw that with the best of my ability. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a challenge. And polycaps. You do have quite a couple. Um, it's quite kind of similar to the unicorn, I think. You do have this or. I think for the most Sun Goku and kids, it's gonna be like this. You just have this similar looking uh, circular poly cap. And this one for the, I believe, for the shoulder. And this is for the torso. Yep. But I kinda like the old poly caps. And another. I do have this, um, like, a coaster. And it comes, um, like an extra thing. And you have this uh, Shibai, or Tenshi or Shibai Sazabi there, which is kind of nice. Um, Cause some, some of the Sango Goten doesn't have this. I do have another one of this uh, from the Gakushin Ganda, or which is like the blue uh, Asray frame. And I think it's the Sango Goten version, but... So this is my second one, and it's really nice. And last but not the least. Um, which I probably gonna fix the distance. 
So here's an illustrated booklet, and I'm not sure, but most likely that's a Japanese character is there. Yep. <laughs> and this is volume 33, as, as stated there. I'm just gonna go over this real quick. Um, not sure what's happening, but from what it seems like that the Jin, uh, Tenshi Yoshiba is also be, uh, going to attack um, this one. i not sure which Gundam this is. I think it's the high new one. But someone blocked it. And uh, it's this one. I think this is Ziza. Which, um, he died there. And I guess something from the past. Oh, QF91. And there's the rest of the Sun Gogudens. And I guess another to be continued. <laughs> and inside instructions on how to build it. And on the last panel. This is the part where you combine it with the other kits. And that's from the pretty much the Psycho Gundam's um, Psycho Gundam version. Which I probably won't get. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's a cool you know, gimmick to combine that. But this one actually you know turns into a Nightingale. If I'm not mistaken. As you can see there pretty cool so that's uh, you know the illustrated booklet and I just want to show you this this is what I got from my Gakushin Gundam and again this is a coaster which is really nice so that's it that's my review for the Tenshi Yoshibai Sazabi's unboxing so stay tuned uh, when I unboxed it and I will do my uh, articulation test and I will paint this one <laughs> Until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.